guys, it's Study With Me, and today I'm going to show you my life as a Korean student. I start my day by waking up at 6am, and after I take a shower and pack my bag, I have my breakfast. Today I'm having soup and salad. After that, it's about 6.46, and I usually preview my school work. Right now, I'm reading my philosophy textbook. Once it becomes 7 o'clock, my alarm rings and it's time to go to school. And today I'm taking the subway to school. My school is located at the top of a hill, so that means exercising every single morning. And the building for seniors are the furthest away from the school gate, which means extra walking. And by the time I reach the building, I get too tired to go up the stairs, so I just use the elevator. My classroom is located on the 5th floor, and because I'm in class 10, my classroom is at the end of the hallway. I have to get to school by 7.50 and Okay, now it's 3.50, end of school, so that means 5 hours and 50 minutes of studying, excluding lunch and break time. I usually go to the public library to do some extra studying for about 30 minutes. So that will be extra 30 minutes and after that I take the bus to go to an academy to do extra studying. And for Korean students, it's actually really normal to go to academies every single day after school. Class starts at 5 and ends at 8 which means another extra three hours of studying. And by the time class is over, it's already really dark. So I just head straight home. Today, mom and dad are both not home, so I'm eating dinner by myself. And while I enjoy my dinner, I'm probably going to watch Riverdale on Netflix. I am a fan of Riverdale. And from about 9.40 to 1 o'clock, I study again, so that's 3 hours and 20 minutes, and now I go to sleep. Good night and sweet dreams!